Good morning. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody had an awesome Thursday. Today is January 2nd. Happy New Year. And I have a good amount of errands to run today. And I said, you know what? I'll take y'all with me. So come on, let's go run errands together. I'm clearly not ready, but eventually we're going to go run errands. But I got something to show you right here. Y'all look at my candle warmer. Y'all want to know what's really special about it? This is stress relief candle wax from Bath and Body Works that I melted down and put into that can. I mean, this uh, this warmer, and I'm so proud of it because it's very, very subtle, so it's not as strong of a scent as the candle. But I was able to save all of my wax from my stress relief candle, one of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works, and I'm just like pat myself on the back, Alexis. Look at all of that wax that I got out of the candle. Now the tutorial from YouTube, actually she got all of the wax out of the candle and she was able to like save the container. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that cause look, it's still all that wax in there, but I'm still so thankful I got that much out. Filling up my Keurig coffee maker with some water. This will last me maybe about one day of coffee. But all of the Christmas decorations are coming down. Mom wants us to, Ethan and I, brother, to put these back where they came from. I think they go in there and then they go out in the garage or the shed. And look, this is funny, y'all. So my dad has these birds, you see, and they came from my grandma's house and they used to be gold, but mom didn't like them. So he took them down, he spray painted them white and he put them right back up there and she still doesn't like it. <laughs> so, uh, what do y'all think of these birds? I kind of like them. Uh, I think it's kind of, I, I think it symbolizes, uh, uh, you know, I mean like new beginnings, new adventures, something or other like that. Do I like these birds? My goodness, I don't know. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Today is science fiction day in honor of visionary writer Isaac Asimov, born 100 years ago. This fun fact brought to you by an AI that is all science, no fiction. Science Fiction Day. I do not read any science fiction books, but I am reading this book right now. It's called Rome, and I am having the hardest time finishing that book because it's just something about the it's something about the writing. I mean, I understand what she's doing. She wants it to sound like it's coming from a five-year-old, and it definitely sounds like it's coming from a five-year-old, but it's just the grammar. It's just I'm having I'm finding myself having to read it like I'm finding myself having to read a passage like five times and it's just I don't really know but let me find my clothes for today it's gonna be like 54 degrees so it's pretty good weather y'all if your ear has a clog in it forget like the earwax softeners and all that fun stuff y'all just need some three percent hydrogen peroxide whatever USP stands for this is all you need you need to put this into your ear you need to wait for it to stop fizzing you need to turn over to your other side and yeah this works so good it's like oh my goodness I'm going out getting like all these earwax softeners and all that fun stuff. It's like, no, all you need is this. Oh my goodness, it smells like cinnamon spice and everything nice. I love chai lattes. This is my breakfast right here. I'm just gonna enjoy this. I don't think I really told y'all anything that I got for Christmas because the original video that I posted where I was talking about that a little bit, uh, it deleted itself off my camera. So uh, I guess I'll show you a few things. One thing that I got, um, I got this Body Fantasies. It's like this little kit, hold on. So these three things came together, the soap, the lotion, and the spray. It's Japanese cherry blossom, and I love it. It smells so good. So I have these two on right now, um, and I actually have not used the soap yet, just because I'm still going through all my lust stuff, having a great time, but yeah, this was one of my gifts right here. I didn't ask for too many things this year, but yeah, that's one thing I got, love it. Shockingly, I do my makeup now. Like I've always like done a little bit of makeup, but I actually have lashes that I put on now. Oh, I need to take these back, almost forgot. Okay, I gotta add that to my errands. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get all my makeup stuff out now and do my face and that's a little bit closer to me being ready to go. So Robin sent me this whole case of like lip glosses. If you watch the video where we went to Georgetown, you'll see that. So I've been putting on a lip gloss every single day and sending her pictures. This is how this one looks, this is how that one looks. Uh, she said I should post it on like my Instagram because I guess people like to see 
uh, how lip glosses look on black skin. Well, not black skin, black people, brown skin. But I said, no, I'm not really a makeup channel, so I don't really. So this is the one for today. It is, hmm, let's see, Starling by Noya. Uh, natural lip gloss, sundressed. This is the one I'll be wearing today with the rest of my do. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I'm that type of makeup person. Oh, I need to watch that. Whoops. I cannot believe I'm into makeup like this now. Crazy. I used to not know what I was doing. All right, so I just finished my makeup, and I sent Robin a picture of my lips, uh, the lip gloss I was showing y'all. And I honestly don't like this. What do y'all think about this? I think, like, I think it's too pale pink. I don't know. So I'm going to go back to, like, one of my previous lip glosses that I put on that I said I really liked. Uh, which one was it? We're going to find it today. Um, I think it might have been the very first one. I don't know, but I'm going to take this one off. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I'll feel it, but it's just not today. This is another lip gloss. Oh, man, I should turn it this way. This is another lip gloss I got for uh, Christmas. It's Buxom. I really love this lip gloss. It's like I put it on and my lips tingle, and that's how I know it's working. Yes. Uh, the color is... Where's the color? Oh, Dolly. There you go. Just, I love this one. So I'm gonna put this one on. Okay, so it is 11:23. I'm gonna go in like, I guess about 10 minutes. Braces tightening is at noon, and I already put my little poll on Instagram about what color should I get my braces. If I don't get enough responses or like the right responses, by I think I'll give them like 30 more minutes because my orthodontist always sees me late. I think I'm gonna go with purple and orange. I've gotten that before and I think it's cute. I think it's a cute combination. Or I might get pink and blue. Or I might just get pink. Wait, what color am I now? What color are these? These are kind of pink. Uh, hmm. That's always like the hardest decision. Like, what color should I get my braces? I don't know. But we'll see. All right, so I'm at the orthodontist and I got two responses on my poll for what color I should get my braces. I got black and I got purple. So it looks like I'm getting them done black and purple if I don't get any other responses. <laughs> Uh, and guess what I saw over there? I saw Kyra. Oh my goodness. Like I'm beeping at her and I, I thought, look, I, <laughs> it was too funny. Like I beeped at her and I think she thought that I was rushing her, but I was like, Kyra, no, look, me. <laughs> oh, it was too hilarious. But, uh, yeah, you know what else I forgot to bring? I forgot to bring my foundation because my orthodontist, he likes to grab my face. He does that out of affection. He just likes to grab your face. And it's like, don't grab my face today because I got foundation on. You're going to smear it. So I hope and pray he doesn't do that. But yeah, it's 11.45. Let's hope they'll see me early because I'm there early. All right, so I'm out of the ortho office and I went with purple and black. See? Ta-da. Um, he did grab my face a lot. So I'm hoping my look isn't ruined um it doesn't look too bad it's fine so next up i need to go to cvs because i bought some magnetic eyelashes and i tried to put those things on and failed so they were 14 dollars. so i'm gonna go get my money back <laughs> uh yeah hopefully they take them back and the exposure in the background is crazy it looks like i'm in a white globe i wonder what will happen if i do this oh oh look how much better that looks wow i should have done that the whole time okay so i'm at the cvs and I think if I do not bring my wallet in there, if I just bring the eyelashes, who whoops, they don't need to know that happened. That was crushing in my purse. If I just bring the eyelashes that I'm taking back, I can't buy anything else out of CVS. I'm not gonna go over there and buy any more lashes. I'm just gonna bring these and my keys. See, and there we go. I lied. I have to bring my wallet anyway because how else are they gonna give me the refund? They have to put it back on my card. Duh. Just looking, y'all. I promise I'm just looking. Oh goodness look at the lashes buy two get third free oh my goodness consumer value store they have such a good i like the selection here and like i really like when they come in like a pack like that not today all right so i was able to return those lashes and fun fact the cashier we were talking about them because we both had the same struggle we just could not get them on she said she couldn't get them to connect. I couldn't get them to connect. So it's like, look. And she was telling me about like magnetic eyeliner. So I guess you put that on and then the lashes stick to that. I don't know if I want anything else magnetic. I think I just want to stick to the regular run of the mill glue and lashes until they come up with something that works. You know, 
But uh, the next place I have to go, my phone has a crack in it. And it's not a huge crack. It's like I dropped it face down. So it's kind of like cracked up here on the side. And then like it's a hairline crack that kind of like travels down. Look, I'm doing all this. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Boop. But anyways, um, I go to the Apple store and they wanted to charge me. 169 after taxes and like all that fun stuff it would have been close to 200 bucks for this tiny little crack and i said no no not really so i found a place like up the street that repairs phones and they have like five star reviews and everybody says they love them they're fast they're affordable so it's kind of like okay i'll take my phone there and we'll figure this out there so hoping and praying i can get rid of this crack because i don't like looking at it i just bought this phone in like like April 2019. I haven't even had it a full year yet. And it's just, I don't like this. Like, ugh, I don't know why I didn't put a screen protector on my phone. I guess because I didn't have one on my 6S. I figured this would last too. But let's go see. I hope I don't like have to spend an arm and a leg. So I actually told a bold face a lot. Look, I forgot this shopping center. It's where the five below is. Dollar Tree and the Target. And I need to run into all those stores. <laughs> and a matter of fact, no, not Target. So... I just ordered a new like Apple Watch band. I, I know y'all hear this watch going off, but it's like it's still the same like black one that came with it. I had two other bands, like one of them was like a holographic sort of looking thing, and then another one was just like I had two other bands, but they they didn't fit right. They were too loose, so I, I guess I got rid of them because I can't find them to save my life. So I just ordered a new Apple Watch band from Etsy. And I want to get a new AirPods case because the one I have, I lost the top part. It was my Boba case. I cannot believe I lost the top part to that case. I thought it was in my backpack, but it's not in there. So I want to get a new uh, AirPods case because I don't want something to happen to my AirPods or something like that. But I don't know. I kind of got a budget still. So it's like, okay, I just got, boop. I just got the, uh, the uh, Apple Watch band. I'm not going to get the AirPods case too. So I just decided in one quick movement right here that i'm not going into target but i just want to go look at makeup and five below here we go this is actually it's actually what i needed right here five below's uh perfumes this is so cute and look rose quartz and amethyst y'all know what i'm thinking of steven universe it's one of my favorite shows okay so my total from five below came to 905 uh I had to get a screen protector, which was five fifty five. I tell you, Five Below is raising up these prices. Like they uh, a boop, but look, they used to be. Let's see what y'all doing? Y'all getting popular? So I had to get a screen protector. It was five fifty five for my phone. When they fix it, I'm gonna put a screen protector on it, and then uh, the eyeliner I went in there for was two ninety nine, and then of course sales tax six percent because I don't live in boring old Delaware. Uh, Last time I bought this, it didn't work on my phone correctly, so I'm hoping this wasn't a waste of, hoping this wasn't another waste. I just assumed I didn't put the thing on correctly, so we're going to try that again. I spent another five bucks on that. And this eyeliner, this is a Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner. This is exactly the one I have at home. It's the exact one I have on right now, and I love this. I swear by it, so I just got it again. So, do I have any other shopping to do? I'm not going into the Dollar Tree, because those guys are hanging outside the Dollar Tree, and they caught me too. Like they pulled me over and they asked me for money for their business. And I said, not today. Just, uh, that's so awkward for me. It really makes me like even not feel like coming up here to shop because they hang outside. Like, who do I call about that? But anyways, I um, think I'm gonna go inquire about the phone now. I'm kind of, kind of got this nervous excitement about it. Like, oh, I hope I can get my phone fixed. All right, so there's my store I'm going into, Phone City. I hope I can afford to get my phone fixed today because this crack is really bothering me. Rest in peace, Dress Barn. And I also see another store over there. It's called Wigs and Bundles. Can y'all see that? It's called Wigs and Bundles. Oh, do I want to go in there? I don't know. And I haven't been inside of that Dollar Tree in years. Oh my goodness, I forgot that was over there. Th this one isn't the good one. That's why I never go in there. But all right, y'all, wish me luck. Y'all, hey, so I just got my phone fixed. It is no crack in the screen. And when I tell you that he took like 15 minutes to fix this thing oh my goodness y'all i'm about to just take a look at it in the car like is it really fixed like oh my goodness and look he didn't charge me 200 bucks like what apple was going to charge me it cost me 83.74 i think was the exact price oh my goodness y'all it wasn't 200 bucks <laughs> that's all i wanted i just wanted it to not be 200 bucks so 
you do have to watch who you go to because my other friend like went and got her phone fixed and supposedly like her screen doesn't look as good anymore and don't mind my hair i know it looks like it's huge but they had like five star reviews and oh my goodness yeah i'm gonna have to add to that review i'm gonna have to go on and add to it like oh my goodness done fix my phone it was not 200 bucks so i think i deserve a reward because i went into five below i didn't get any candy and i got my phone fixed and you know what this 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 is this needs to be a celebration if robin's texting me i'm about to get on her right now because she spelled my name with the i i just saw it but uh y'all we're gonna go to taco bell i mean it's right here and come on we might as well go celebrate with some taco bell like yes oh my goodness now i'm looking at my phone i'm hoping like it's still the same like screen quality because i told y'all my friend got her phone fixed and that she said like the screen like it, it it wasn't showing up as bright so i'm not really sure i don't know i mean let's hope that i think it looks just fine right now i do oops, sorry y'all i did keep like their like little makeshift screen protector that they gave me uh but i have like an actual screen protector i'm gonna put on too this is atrocious driving oh lord all right so i got my taco bell i have a nacho bell grande and one soft taco see i used to get two soft tacos but i'm trying to cut my taco bell back a little bit so i got one soft taco and it was funny because i must have accidentally clicked no beef for my taco and the manager came over to me i know he's the manager and he was like so what do you want on it and i was like Oh, no, 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 I want the beef. I'm not vegetarian anymore, but uh, I didn't mean to click that. I apologize. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to head home and put the screen protector on my phone before something happens to it. I haven't experienced a nice, clean phone screen since last April. Oh, my goodness. So right now I'm hoping, like, everything's still the same, like the touch and everything, the boop. Like, I'm just hoping everything's just fine and if so i'm gonna give them five stars because wow amazing and i'm gonna go back in there too because they had like all these body oils that were smelling real good they had a body oil called black women oh my goodness and i smelled it and i was like yeah this smells like a black woman a black woman yes they had a uh, screen uh what you call them uh, phone cases just everything in there and i was like you got incense in here like yeah Right now, I'm about to go home and eat my lunch, and then I'm probably going to go out on a walk because I've been doing good exercising every day, but I'm definitely going to go back and shop there unless I find something wrong with my phone screen. All right. Oh, goodness. Hair. Just, uh, hair, hair, hair. Okay, so I am home. I'm getting ready to enjoy my Taco Bell, and then I'm going to go exercise. See, because that's what you need to do after you have things like Taco Bell. So pretty much it i'm done running errands I'm just chill for a minute but thank you guys so much for coming with me and i'll talk to y'all another day bye I love you, I love you.